Dexcom One. The one that's cheaper. The one that looks like G6. The one that I've received loads and loads of emails about over the last few months. So today's video is about the iPhone SE of modern CGM Dexcom One. Now in no way is CGM like iPhone. iPhone is a luxury, CGM is a necessity. Purely for the purposes of this video, purely to explain the differences and similarities between Dexcom One, G6 and G7, I'm going to be using iPhone SE as an example, because I think it explains so well what Dexcom One is. But I wanted to make it absolutely clear, in no way is CGM like an iPhone. At the heart of iPhone SE is Apple's powerful A15 Apple Silicon. Similarly, at the heart of One is the same physical device as G6. Exactly the same sensor, the same transmitter with one written on top of it instead of Dexcom. Now, grounded in the same physical wearable is exactly the same accuracy as Dexcom G6, exactly the same wear time of 10 days, and of course, it's cleared for making insulin decisions. It is physically the same device. Now, software. All iPhones run iOS, and one runs a stripped down version of the G7 app. Dexcom One is Dexcom's first attempt at making a lower cost, a more affordable CGM. And which features did they seem not necessary for the lower end version of their CGM? Which features are only worth the G title, the G6 and G7 title? Well, many of them. Dexcom One has no sharer or follow capabilities, no Apple Watch, no insulin pump integration, no smart pen integration, no Apple Health integration. In my opinion, the biggest difference is lack of urgent low soon. That's a predictive low glucose alarm, which on the G6 and the G7 predicts a low glucose level in advance and alarms you way before you hit a low threshold in hope to actually prevent a low glucose happening in the first place. Dexcom 1 doesn't have that capability. Dexcom 1 will only alert you when your glucose level physically hits a low threshold, making it impossible to avoid a hypo in the first place because your hypo is about to start already. It has been out for a few months in a number of countries all across Europe Dexcom One has been a colossal success. In the UK, it's available on prescription, just like Freestyle Libre. You can go to your primary care, your GP, and ask for it and get it. The coverage of One varies slightly across the country, but over the last few months, there has been a colossal progress in access to Dexcom One, giving people with diabetes the choice between Freestyle Libre 2 or Dexcom One. At prescription level. And then obviously, if you qualify for full CGM funding, G6 or G7 or Libre free. What about e-commerce pricing? Well, Dexcom One retails at £100 a month, at par with Libre 2's £98 e-commerce retail price to consumer in the UK, making it cheaper than G7, and 46% cheaper than G6. So who is Dexcom One for? Well, anybody really. Do speak to your health care provider about specific medical guidance and medical advice related to your specific circumstances. But on a broad, I think Dexcom One is a great option for people with diabetes who choose not to use an insulin pump or simply can't access one. Now, that is the vast majority of people living with diabetes. So, it's a new option. So Dexcom One, it's the Dexcom G6 wearable with the same accuracy, wear time, and 
it is just connected to a different Dexcom One app with very limited functionality. If you've used or are currently using Dexcom One, do let me know your personal experience down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And um, until the next one, remember, we are not waiting. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.